okay to take the trim off of this sunfish. Just get a 1 8 inch drill bit. Take it, put it in the rivet head here. You can see the remnants of other rivet heads on there. And just drill lightly. It'll uh, come off until it's aluminum if it comes off pretty easy. That's what should be used in here is aluminum rivets. So they're off. And then once it's off, you can gently pull on the trim, see if it'll come off. If it won't, you might have to get a little hammer and tap it to get it to come loose. Like it did back here. You're going to be careful pulling on the side so you don't bend and straighten that. You can, you can crease that or tear it. You get it off. You're going to see this. You're going to see the seam. And if you can look at the seam, you can see there's this seam looks, uh, oops, there it is. The seam looks pretty good, but if you get over here, you start to see it getting wider, getting dirtier. There's a crack there. We'll have to clean that, fill it in with uh, thickened epoxy. A lot of times you can find the leak by noting. Where, the, where all the dirt's accumulated, that's because there's water gone in the boat, water come out of the boat, and accumulated under the, uh, under the seam there. We've got another little leak up here somewhere with this different colored paint. That's probably a repair area. Someone's probably come in there, tap that a little bit. A little piece of wood or something get that off and now if we start looking it all looks it all looks pretty good into about right here now it's a little bit wider so we can check that with our do a leak test on it Take a little spray bottle, put some Dawn dishwashing liquid in it. We'll spray it down. It's going to do two things. It's going to clean it up for one. And we put some air in. through that little vent hole right there. Might see if we get air come out the side. Oops. Coming out from underneath the tape. Maybe I clogged it up with dirt. There it is right there. This hole here, that air bubble's coming out, 
is actually um, where they put a ribbon in and they went too far and they actually went into the boat instead of instead of just into this lip here so I'll put some thickened epoxy in there get that fixed up and get the sugar tooth back on the water soon need to put the combing back on and figure out what color we're gonna paint the combing try to get it close to these stripes but uh, we're gonna get the stripes and the combing all one color and get the sail back on it get her back out to sea where she belongs <laughs>